tonight on Made in America. Welcome, ladies. Ooh, there's a green screen. <laughs> Go, five burpees, five burpees, chest all the way to the ground. Come on, do you want this? Yeah. Let's go. What celebrity would you most like to meet in person? She's a little bit closed off. She doesn't tend to live in the moment. She thinks too far ahead sometimes and that she is a perfectionist. I'm Nina Davalori. I was Miss America 2014. My experience competing for Miss America was definitely unconventional. Not only was I the first Indian Miss New York, but I went on to become the first Indian Miss America. And uh, my talent, I performed a Bollywood dance, something that the Miss America stage had never seen before. <laughs> I think what I really wanted was to change the image of who the ideal Miss America was. I didn't have blonde hair, I didn't have blue eyes, I wasn't white, and my culture and background was a huge part of my upbringing, and I was really proud of that. And to be able to showcase that you can embrace your identity and your heritage and culture and still be both Indian and American. There were several challenges I faced growing up in this country. For me, I felt embarrassed at certain times because of my Indian background. I felt that people didn't understand my religion, they didn't understand you know, the food I was eating or what I brought for lunch every day or what I believed in. And at that time, I was really embarrassed of that. I really wanted to create an opportunity for young South Asian women to be able to pursue their dreams and have a mentor while achieving that. We gathered together six amazing, intelligent, young South Asian women that were aspiring to be in the modeling industry. I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth. I think most people think that Sri Lanka is a part of India. They're always like, oh, I love India. And I'm like, we're two separate countries. Hi, Nina. <laughs> I would really be so honored to be a part of this. This was about providing an opportunity, but also sharing my own experiences with these young women who are amazingly talented and motivated and driven and giving them something that's never been done before, creating something new and being able to put our names on this. My name is Harindeep. I'm 21 years old. I was born in Sri Lanka, but I currently live in Orange County, California. Being South Asian American is something special because you get to be a part of two cultures in one lifetime. My name is Amina. I'm from Minnesota and I'm 20 years old. My family is from Guyana, South America. My ancestors go back to India. I love being South Asian American. I love the Bollywood. I love watching the movies, listening to the music, but also I have that West Indian um, side of me as well. My name is Aditi. I'm 22 years old. I was born in India, but I moved to America when I was two, and ever since then we've lived all over the United States. My dad actually grew up in America, and my mom grew up in India. It was kind of like having the best of both worlds. My name is Kanika, I'm from Maryland. My family is originally from Delhi. Not only do I love the food and the music and the movies, but I think I just love the soul of Indian culture and the spirituality. My name is Priya Darshini. I'm 24 years old and from Los Angeles, California. I wanna be a role model for future South Asian women to show that you can be educated, you can be smart, you can be talented. My name's Ahana, I'm 21 years old and I'm from the Bay Area. I was born in India, near Calcutta, and then when I was four years old, we moved to America, and I've lived all over America. Hi, Hi. 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 Aditi. Hi. 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 Aditi. Hi. Nice to meet you guys. Hi. When I found out I was going to be a contestant, I was like honestly so excited. I have not had any like previous modeling or like I haven't been in any pageants. So it was nice to be like, oh, they're actually looking for South Asian girls. And I was like, wow, this is amazing. You guys all look good. I love your outfit. Yeah. I'm just proud to be part of Made in America. It's the first time where we're showcasing a group of South Asian girls. I'm ready to show people what Indian girls are all about. Are you guys excited? Yes. Yeah. A little nervous. A little though, anxious. To be honest. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, like what to expect, but I know. I'm excited. Everyone seems really nice, and everyone's outspoken and you know beautiful. Oh my goodness! Hi. Hi. I'm so excited to meet all of you. 
First of all, congratulations. I know it's been a process to get here, and now you guys are the final six. Nina is someone I look up to a lot because it was the first time I've ever seen someone that looked like me winning a title like the Miss America pageant. So meeting her in person was such a great experience. It's gonna be an extremely exciting journey, probably a roller coaster of a journey. Um, I've kind of been in a similar situation myself competing. When I saw Nina Davaluri's face, I was like, wow, she's such an inspiration. And I think it would be such a great honor to not only meet with her, but work with her. She'll be our mentor. And she really has been there, you know, to show how South Asians can make a difference. So you wanna go check it out? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome, ladies. <laughs> when I first stepped into the studio, I was like, whoa, this is real. <laughs> Ooh, there's a green screen. Oh I think the first big thing I noticed was the runway area, and it was actually kind of intimidating. I've never walked on a runway. I am definitely very scared of tripping, falling on my face. Look at the hair and makeup. makeup. This is where we'll be. Yeah, That's for sure. Amazing. We have a makeup area where we get to get our glam on. So what do you guys think? We love it's it. Nice. It's, it's nice. Really awesome. nice. It's really well, nice. Well, we hope you love it because this is going to become your home for the next 10 weeks. We're going to be putting you through a series of challenges and projects. They're going to be fun. Don't worry. <laughs> um, but hopefully through this, you'll get to know yourselves and one another as well. And I want you to get acquainted with the space, so I'll take you through and show you what we're doing. Okay. All right, sounds good. So the first area is the hair and makeup area. So we have some nice mirrors set up for you guys to get ready when you get to the studio. The main focus, of course, is our runway. We're so excited um, to have that. And this is kind of a space that we really set up for you guys to do kind of the projects and challenges and brainstorming sessions. Over in the back, there's a lovely lounge area. We wanted you to be able to have a place to relax and sit and just hang out and get to know each other. Over in the corner, we have the green screen for photo shoots, interviews. And last is the VIP area, where there will be one weekly winner and we'll get to have some one-on-one -on -one time together. Each week there's gonna be two to three challenges. From those two to three challenges, we will choose an overall weekly winner. That overall weekly winner will get one point towards the final competition. The final competition is actually worth 10 points. So even if you're not a weekly winner, there's still an opportunity for you to do well in the finale. The winner will receive a custom, exclusively designed tiara from Deepika Royalty Jewels. They will also receive a one month intensive course at New York Film Academy. We'll have the opportunity to walk in New York Couture Fashion Week and will also be featured on ZTV's future projects. When I first heard the rules, I was like, okay, well there's challenges. Have to at least win a few or just like two at least. That brings me to our first challenge. Yay. So this one's a fun one. I'd like for all of you to kind of pair together and really discuss your strengths and weaknesses. So go ahead, take a clipboard, find an area and get started. I think this is a great theme to start with because before you do outside things, I think you really need to figure out who you are. You wanna be partners? Partners. Okay. For our first challenge, I picked Aditi. I feel like when we first saw each other, there was an, like, an eye contact and I felt like we would gel well together. Our sense of humor is matched up, so I felt like, you know what, we connected. Let's get to know each other a little bit better. Okay, so number one. Wait, where's your clipboard? You have it. No, no, this is mine. Where's yours? Oh my God. Let's Girl, it's it still back there. If you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? Um, Nothing. <laughs> okay, what's the best compliment you've ever received? Um, ooh, I don't know. I was a hard worker. Yeah. I like that. I like hearing that. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> when people meet you for the first time, what quality do you think they notice the most? Well, I feel like we met each other, so like, why don't we yeah. do each other? Okay, sure. Right? What did yeah. you notice first about I, like, me? I noticed you were super bubbly and like... Bubbly. Yeah. <laughs> what about That's me? That's a good one. When people meet you for the first time, what quality do you think they notice the most? Um, they usually say I have really nice eyebrows. What about you? For me, uh, most people notice my aura. My partner for the first challenge was Priya Darshini, and it was cool getting to sit down with her and get to actually talk to her for the first time and find out who she is. You know, I've always wanted to learn how to swim, but my parents were always protective, and they're like, no, you're gonna drown. I'm like, well, if I don't try, I'll never learn to swim. Okay, out of all your personal accomplishments, which one makes you the most proud? Um, something that I really, really, really like love doing was yeah, taking like, my parents back to our country. 
Aww. Like I bought them a trip and they like, I surprised them and they like cry. Wow. <laughs> Out of all your personal accomplishments, which makes you the most proud? Um, I can't answer that for you. Yeah, I know. Um, what are your personal accomplishments? School probably. Yeah, that's what I was gonna yeah. do too. All right, what is the best compliment you have ever received? Um, What's your worst habit? Overthinking. What situation intimidates you more than any other? If you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? I can't think of an answer for this. Come on, can I know, I know, I know, I know. We're on time crunch. Come on, come on, come on. Um, um, All right, ladies, that's time. No! What's your greatest strength? Go ahead and wrap up and meet me in the VIP lounge. Putting it out there, like what your weaknesses are and wanting to work on them, it's quite tough. Great, so I'm so excited that you guys got to know each other. I'm going to continue with this and ask you to present three strengths and three weaknesses of not yourself, but your partner. Let's go ahead and get started with Ahana. Mm -hmm. To be very honest, I think that it felt a little like show and tell where we stood up, you know, me and Nina talked. Uh, we were looking at the girls, like holding up my little paper. I think the first thing that I noticed about Amina was that she was really sweet. Um, it felt really genuine. And then we talked about some weaknesses, <laughs> being able to speak up, like sometimes she had trouble because she was being shy. Amina, why don't you go ahead and come up and share the strengths and weaknesses about Ahana. All right. When I had to get up and present Ahana and what she was like, uh, I was nervous. Three of her greatest strengths would be being confident, positive, and outgoing, which she is very outgoing. Um, and then uh, some of her weaknesses would be um, dominating conversation. She said, um, I'm not very good at that, but she is. Okay, thank you, yeah. Amina. <laughs> thank you. Hi. Next up, let's bring Aditi. I was a little nervous because it's not like me to put my weaknesses out there. I was working with Priya Darshini, and so some of her strengths are that she's really patient, she's very hardworking, and she's also very humble. Some of her weaknesses are that she's a little bit closed off. Um, she doesn't tend to live in the moment. She thinks too far ahead sometimes, and that she is a perfectionist. I had only just met Priya Darshini, and to talk about her and evaluate her was a little bit nerve-wracking. So do you want to come up and tell us a little bit about Aditi? Absolutely. Great. It doesn't scare me to be in front of large groups of people that I don't know, but I think it was a little more vulnerable for someone that I didn't know to stand up on behalf of me and talk about something that you wouldn't really say on a first meeting. You don't talk to them like, hey, these are my weaknesses, you know? So some of the strengths of my lovely partner Aditi is that she's very optimistic, she's very calm, and that she's very easily adaptable. And those are the qualities that I've noticed with her like interacting and seeing how she represents herself. Some of her weaknesses, she procrastinates. All right, thank you, Priya Darshini. Next up, let's bring up Karika. Okay. So, Harindi. I love talking in front of crowds. I have, you know, something substantial to say. You are a good listener and observer, and that's a strength because not a lot of people take the time to actually hear what the other person is saying. They're always thinking about jumping in and saying something next, but you take the time to analyze, and I think that's something I want to adopt. You have such a big heart. The fact that you paid for a big trip for your parents to take them to Sri Lanka, that's something I would love to do one day for my family, so kudos to you on that. Kanika. <laughs> okay, so something right off the bat, like our first impression is that you're so open and welcoming. I got up there to kind of talk to the group in front of Nina and everybody. So it was it was a little nerve-wracking. Three weaknesses, I would say you're kind of a overthinker like I am. The other thing was that you said you feel like you're not good enough for people and you feel like people are always judging you. You shouldn't feel like that. No one, no one, not even no girl, no any not anybody should feel like that because everyone's special and everyone has her thing, you know? So Hernley, why do you feel so strongly about that? Is that something that's happened in your life? I know when I was growing up, I just, I didn't feel like I fit in, you know, being South Asian in America and not knowing anybody or not knowing the culture and everything. You feel out of place. You feel like you're not good enough to be here. And that's not true, you know? That's not true, girls. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like you deserve good things too. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? I talked about how I kind of didn't fit in originally when I moved here and how I felt about that and how I feel now that I feel 
that to be different is okay and I've kind of just accepted myself. Kudos to all of you for breaking the mold, first off by even just being here. I think that's an amazing step forward and that to showcase that, you know, as, as young women that we don't have to fit a certain stereotype or mold, we can certainly um, create our own paths for ourselves. Thank you so much, Harindi. Go ahead and take a seat. Okay, ladies, amazing, amazing first day. As far as the winner of today's challenge, I will be announcing tomorrow. I know you've had a very long day, so get some rest, and I will see you bright-eyed and bushy-tailed tomorrow morning. Thank, Thank you. you. Coming up. Jump up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Are you ready for physical boot camp? Come on, do you want this? Let's go. I was like, no. What are you doing? Wrap it around your feet. I'm not gonna let any Tom, Dick, or Harry get in my way. Let's go. <laughs> Are you okay? What do you think we're gonna do today? I don't know. Is... Guys, where's Nina? So we walked into the studio and some of the girls and I were a little confused because we were looking for Nina and we couldn't find her. But then we see a present. That's pretty wrapping. What do you think it is? I don't have nails. Go, go, go. There's a note. Hey girls, I'm sure there's so much running through your minds right now as you're about to embark on your first challenge. One of the most important lessons I've learned is that you're not competing with one another, but with yourselves. Set your goals and expectations high and make sure you check in with yourselves each step of the way. We opened her present and it ended up being a note that was super cryptic. Ultimately, your success in this competition is your state of mind. Stay focused and stay true to yourself. We've arranged a special mission for you. Get ready to mount up and head out to South Weddington Park. This is gonna be a tough assignment. It's time to test your mettle and see if you have what it takes to win. We were like, oh my gosh, what are we doing? So then we knew we had to change and get ready to go, but we we're all pretty nervous. We didn't know what was gonna happen. We can't be doing this in heels, yeah. so I think no, no. we better change. We gotta get changed, we gotta get moving. All right, guys. I'm scared, you guys. Good morning, ladies. I was dreading it when I was on that hill because I looked down and I saw workout equipment laid out on the grass. They're like, are you ready for physical boot camp? And I was like, no. Well, I see that you got my message. I'm glad you all made it here. I know that you are anxious and eager to hear about the winner of yesterday's challenge. And that is... Harindi. <laughs> I won the first challenge. And the first thing I wanted to do was call my mom. We thought you really encompassed um, the idea that we wanted you to be able to share your story and speak about some really difficult things. I thought it was really cool that she won, actually, because she opened up, which was actually ironic since that was one of the weaknesses she mentioned to me. So we have a new challenge for you today, and I would like to introduce you to one of my awesome friends, Scott from Workout LA. Scott, why don't you tell us a little bit about your background and what you're expecting from the girls today? Awesome, thank you, Nina. A little history about myself. I started boot camp about three years ago. So Nina gave me a call. She said that she needed a boot camp instructor to push these girls to their limit and find what their strengths and weaknesses are. Today, I expect the girls to push themselves past being uncomfortable. You can't be successful being comfortable. They're over here, pretty girls in makeup, and they don't have no clue they're about to get on the ground and get dirty. Today's obstacle course and uh, workout is definitely gonna see how bad do you want this. We were kind of blindsided when we saw this big bulky instructor, Scott, and all of the things that he had laid out for us. We didn't know if we were gonna be like trained for to be in the army. The movements are gonna be hard. They're gonna push you. You're gonna get dirty. You're gonna sweat. It's gonna be uncomfortable. I think today we're gonna see uh, maybe a couple girls cry, maybe a couple girls puke. When it gets tough, are you gonna just gonna quit? Because you can quit if you wanna quit. But who wants to win? Yeah. You, got, you came here to win. I was definitely nervous. I was like, oh my goodness, I've never done anything like this before. We have no idea what's gonna happen, but we have to stay calm and collected and know that we're gonna try our best through it. And go! Oh! Step, stay into a squat. Feet all the way together, don't drag your feet. Fix your foot, straighten your foot out. Good. <laughs> all the way to the cones. Go, go, go. Push. Okay. Come on, let's go, let's work, let's it's work. Part, How bad do you want this? My main goal is not to create enemies. I'd rather learn from you. But when it came to my turn to be inside of the rubber band, the resistance band, Perindi was really trying hard to not let me go any further. Go, all the way to me, hard as you can, hard as you can, push. I feel like I still pull through because I have determination in me, so I'm not gonna let any Tom, Dick, or Harry get in my way. 
push, push. Come on, pull him. Yes, make him work. Make him work. Great job. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm getting here. You got to get to me. How bad do you want this? How bad do you want this? Let's go. <laughs> Oh, Are you okay? No, I did not do that on purpose. I did not try to sabotage her. That's not my intent. I want her to succeed because we're both in a pair. And if we can't work together, that says a lot about how we're gonna handle the competition, and that's not something that I want to do. Go! Big steps, big steps. Stay low, stay low. Four, 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 four. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Aditi, it seemed like she didn't really like me. She had a really serious face on and it was almost kind of scary. But as I got to know her, she opened up really fast and we really bonded. Okay, ladies, now that you're all warmed up, it's time for your second challenge. Scott's gonna take you through the challenge, what he set up, and also demonstrate for you what you'll be doing. So pay very close attention because it's important. All right, ladies, go ahead and line up behind these bags and grab a band. And you're not gonna use the band yet, but I'm gonna tell you exactly what we're gonna do. The main thing you wanna know is this is a competition. There's gonna be three rounds. You have two minutes to complete each round, followed by a minute rest. So first thing, what's gonna happen is you're gonna do five burpees. You know what a burpee is? Yes. We're going to start with five burpees. Dirty, nasty, full body exercise. After that, they're gonna grab a sandbag that's about half of their body weight. I don't care how they hold it. You can carry it on your shoulder, your back, carry it like a baby, however you want. You're gonna run as fast as you can, 20 yards. You're gonna drop the bag. You're gonna grab a band. You're gonna hold the band like this. Knuckles are down. Pull with your elbows. All the way down. Pull up. All the way down. You'll do that 10 times. Once you got 10, you're gonna drop it. You'll be on that side, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna crawl underneath. If you knock this thing down, you're out. If you don't finish in two minutes, you're automatically out of the challenge and you lost. Go! Five burpees, five burpees. Chest all the way to the ground. Jump up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Who wants to win this? Run, 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 run all the way past the cones. When Coach Scott was yelling at us, it actually motivated me even more. Time is running out, let's go, let's go. For him, fitness isn't about looking a certain way. It's about being stronger than you were yesterday. Put your chest on this bag, lay down. I don't wanna see a push up. Scott was, I think, correcting me in my form and I welcome that. Constructive criticism is what helps us grow. Come on, do you want this? Yeah. Let's go. What are you doing? Wrap it around your feet. Time is done, you're out, hang out over there. I strategically planned that I would do my burpees really fast, so I put 100% into them. Chest down, all the way to the ground, all the way. Your chest needs to hit the ground, all the way down. And then during the bag and the sprint part, I decided to walk slowly. Come on, ladies, you're just gonna walk? You're just gonna walk? This is ridiculous, come on. But while I was walking with the bag, Coach Scott got in my face. Don't walk, don't walk, that's the best you could do? That's the best you could do, it's hard? I need to be really careful to make sure the outside perception of me is in line with what's going on inside of me because I was trying. Come on, let's go, ladies. Let's go, let's go. Oh, who knocked it down? Go, don't worry about it, you're looking for excuses. I was like, oh my gosh, please God, don't let me throw up or anything like that. You go over, you overcome the obstacle. Don't just stop. He kept like putting that in our brains, like how bad you want to win. And that got me pumped, like, sh yeah, I want to win, you know? Do not do presses. Pull, pull with your elbows, bring it to your chin. Let's go, wrap it around your feet. This is your last round. Come on, show us that you want this. You got 10 seconds, nine, eight, you're gonna lose, seven, six, those are nothing, five. Yeah, you look pretty in front of the camera, but you just lost. Game over, game over, guys. I think at times Scott didn't think I was taking it seriously. Maybe I was like laughing it off, but that was just a misunderstanding because I was really hoping I could make it through. Stop, regroup, yeah. let your heart slow down. Think about why you're in this game. Don't just, you're laughing, giggling, I'm not pushing. trying to laugh or giggle. What because does that look like to me? I've never met you before. It's embarrassment for me, not because of anyone It's embarrassment else. to me too. You got to do these right. I explained to, to you. I'm trying to represent this exercise as best as I can. Your speech was so motivating. It touched my personal life. If any reminder comes in my way that's telling me you're not good enough or you're not achieving it as you should, it brings emotions. I, I don't want you to lose. Everybody should have finished. Trust Everybody should have finished. Why am I crying? You're crying because you didn't finish. No, I'm crying because it's, it's meaningful. It's meaningful for me to overcome obstacles. Good, good, good. Trust me.
I don't take Scott screaming at me seriously because it's not anything against me. It's not criticizing me. It's more just to keep motivating me. So with that, we're gonna take a few minutes to discuss the challenge, uh, take a quick break, and we'll let you know what we decide. Oh, that is to me, I was looking for someone that, you know, is going to do something that they're not used to and do good at it. Mm -hmm. Priya was excellent. She was in first place. She pushed hard. She caught on to the exercise easy, but she wasn't getting her chest down. No matter how many times I tell her to do burpee, because she works out. Her way of working out, that's a burpee. That's her way. I explained it some way different, and she didn't follow that direction. I have to say, I was overall a little disappointed because I felt that the first time you gave the instructions, yeah. they weren't fully in the game. One of the part of the challenge was if they were listening to what you specifically were saying and doing what they were told. Yeah. Great, well, should we go tell them who won? Let's go tell them. Awesome. All right. All right, ladies, awesome job on getting through this challenge. It was certainly more difficult than challenge number one, <laughs> um, but you guys got through and that was the most important thing. So congrats on finishing that. I mean, I did push myself to like the best I could, but I don't know. You always feel like you could do better no matter what. Thank you guys. Uh, you guys all did really great. I know it was hard. I know it was uncomfortable, but it wasn't about who finished first or who finished last. It was about who was going to be the strongest version of themselves. One person that stood out the most to me was Aditi. Aditi, I think you really saw what this competition was. And there was times where it got tough, and you didn't freak out. I feel great about winning this challenge. The fact that I got through it empowered me so much. You stay calm, and you, and you complete all the obstacles. And you, you stood out the most to me. Very good. Good job. <laughs> I was really disappointed with that. I thought I should have won. Congratulations, everyone, on finishing challenge number two. I know this was exhausting and emotional at the same time, but you all made it. So go home, get some rest. Um, thank you, Scott, so much for coming out and taking your time out of your schedule. And girls, I will see you tomorrow morning at the studio. Bye, ladies. Nice meeting you. Bye. Good luck. Coming up, I'm going to ask each one of you to come forward and answer a new question. Amina, come on down. What is the absolute last place you'd want to go on vacation? Ooh, um, let's see. I'd absolutely, um, let's see. Welcome back. So what did you guys think of the boot camp? Enjoy. It was <laughs> tough. <laughs> tough? Are you guys feeling a little sore today? A little. Yeah. A little, a little, a little here and there. <laughs> All right. For today's challenge, we're really focusing on public speaking. As you know, a huge component of this job is being able to be well-spoken and articulate. I'm super excited for today because I have an amazing two friends that I would like to introduce. First is Annie Rossellini. She was Miss Pennsylvania during the year that I competed at Miss America, so one of my Miss America sisters. I was excited because uh, Annie had already been through the Miss America pageant and she's been coached on how to speak and things like that. The next person we have with us today is Tammy Cash, and she started as Miss Arkansas USA, was in broadcast journalism, and is currently pursuing a country music career. These girls are absolutely not only well-spoken, but have done incredible things beyond their pageant careers. So today, Annie and Tammy are gonna work with you for your on-stage questions. And Annie and Tammy, I'm gonna let you guys choose who you're gonna work with today. I'll take the girls that are in all black since I am in all black today. <laughs> who wants to go first? Go. Okay. Is there a movie, TV show, or musical artist that you're embarrassed to admit that you like? Um, I, yes, there is. Guilty pleasure is Kanye West's music. All right, Ooh. tell us why. Well, I think he's always been a controversial artist for the, some of the statements, personal, professional, or political, that he may make. If you could travel back in time okay. to witness one historic event, what would it be? For me personally, I think a great historical event to travel back in time for would be President Barack Obama's inauguration. What historical figure do you most admire and why? All right, as an Indian, I'm gonna have to say Mahatma Gandhi. Your question is? Do you have an embarrassing talent? <laughs> an embarrassing? Right. And I think to embody his um, message of 
peace over any type of violence is something that we need to be listening to more than ever today. I love working with Tammy. She has broadcast journalism experience, which I really related to because I also have a major in that. So she knew what she was talking about. She knew what she was doing. I just think that when you when you start to ramble on a little bit yeah. and you start to realize that, that will help you kind of wrap it up with a punch and a bow on top of it. So okay. yes. So she kind of worked with me as to how to make it punchy and make it short. Good job. Okay, that yeah. Amazing. Maybe we need more work on that. <laughs> <laughs> no, you did good. Okay, thanks. Even if you aren't confident exactly what you're saying, make it sound that way. Okay. And that will come naturally. Okay. okay. It'll, it'll catch up, okay? You can be comfortable and mm -hmm. conversational while also being confident and polished, but if you're too polished, it almost comes off a little bit fake and not yeah. sincere. So being yourself is really key. You know, I think that the things that the girls need to work on the most, which seems to be universal, is getting the answer shorter and to the point. Now that you've had some practice answering questions, we're gonna continue with the challenge. I'm gonna ask each one of you to come forward and answer a new question from the fishbowl. You will have 30 seconds to complete the challenge and you will be cut off at 30 seconds, so keep that in mind. So Nina's showing up and she's telling us the final challenge, which is to read a question that we don't know ahead of time and present your best answer to the audience. Harindi, we'll start with you. Annie, go ahead and choose a question. Ready? Mm -hmm. Your question is, what celebrity would you most like to meet in person? What celebrity? I would like to meet Priyanka Chopra as of now because I feel like she's brought in the horizons of being a Bollywood actress and kind of even being South Asian or being Indian and just um, coming to America and making, um, just making herself visible here and showing what she has to offer to this table. And I feel like she's done a lot with what she has and what she knows and opened up a lot more, a lot more things for South Asian women to do. Thank you, Harindi. When you're kind of asked a question, you should always think about Think about it thoroughly before you answer it. Because that was my main concern, that I ramble too much when I have to answer a question. Amina, come on down. What is the absolute last place you'd want to go on vacation? Ooh, um, let's see. I'd absolutely, um, let's see. Actually, I'd say Guyana. I'm actually from there, like my family's from there, but it's just, I wouldn't want to go there because it's pretty dangerous and it's just not a place I think I'd enjoy. <laughs> so, thank you, Amina. Yeah, thank you. I was kind of disappointed that I didn't answer the question very well, but that's because um, I took some time to get used to it. Ahana, your turn. Do you think it's more important to play fair or to win? I think that being fair is always more important. Um, and I think that both are definitely non-exclusive. So you can always play fair and win. And I think that because if you do play fair, you'll always have the confidence in yourself to know that you can always be a winner. Thank you, Ahana. This last challenge was really good for me because I love to talk. Um, I'm not really nervous about public speaking, so it was one that I felt more comfortable with than the other challenges we've done before. Priya Darshini, next question is yours. Hi, everyone. What's the worst job you've ever had? I'd like to say that it has been the worst and the best job of my life, and that has been to take care of my mother. She was diagnosed with stage one breast cancer last year, and I have seen some of the worst gruesome aspects of her health and the best. So I was happy to be her support system and I was happy to be her strength. Thank you. Thank you. I think going through that whole situation with my mother, you don't know what the outcome is gonna be ever in life. All you can do is try your best. Um, and that's what I learned spiritually as well, is that you have to follow and do your karma. Kanika, your turn. I was nervous. I like was like in my mind breathing and like whatever question you get, just think of the first answer that comes to mind and say it with confidence. Because honestly, it's how you say it rather than what you say. What is your least favorite thing about yourself? <sighs> I would say the least favorite thing about myself is that 
I'm second guessing of a lot. Um, and that could be a strength because I think overthinking and looking into things may help me improve and may help um, my strengths in making decisions. But I think it's something I have to work on and have the confidence is once you decide something, stick with it and don't doubt yourself. I think a lot of us right now are working on our self-love, so that's something I'm trying to improve on. Thank you. There was another answer I thought about afterwards, and that always happens. I'm always like, oh, I could have said that, but that's part of the answer I gave, which is like second guessing. So I kind of like got rid of that. And I was like, no, you, you chose your first answer. You did fine. You did the best you could. And last but not least, Aditi. If you could be an animal, what animal would you be and why? Oh, man, I love animals, so that's a great question for me. I think I would have to be definitely an elephant. Um, I just think they're such magnificent creatures, but they're so large, but yet they're so gentle, too. I mean, and also they have a really great memory, which I could really use more of sometimes. So yeah, I would be an, I would be an elephant. Really big, but really gentle and has a great heart. Thank you, Aditi. Thank you. The most nerve wracking thing is just being put on the spot to really eloquently and properly convey your thoughts and also letting your own personality shine through. Thank you all ladies. Third challenge is in the books. We're gonna take some time to discuss and we'll let you know the winner. Thank you. Thank you. Coming up. There was one person that we thought really stood out in this competition. So the winner of this challenge is... First off, all of you did an amazing job this round of competition. I know I was really proud um, from seeing you in the workshop to presenting on stage. So congratulations to all of you. You all took it very well and ran with it. With that being said, there was one person that we thought really stood out in this competition. Annie, why don't you go ahead and start first and say why we thought that person did really well specifically. This girl really spoke from her heart. Uh, it was a difficult subject to talk about, but she was able to do so with passion and with strength, and that absolutely stood out to us. And I think this particular contestant is demonstrating how much work that she's actually done on herself and that she's a very self-assured woman. She knows exactly who she is and she knows exactly what her opinions are about the world that she lives in. I'm very impressed. So the winner of this challenge is... Priya Darshini. Thank you. Congratulations, Priya. We really did see your heart, and I think you also really did a great job of encompassing the strengths and weaknesses um, of this challenge. So congratulations. Thank you, and I want to congratulate my fellow contestants. I think we were all amazing, and we worked really hard. Hey, that makes us happy. Yes. <laughs> That's what we wanted, so we're so glad that you got a good experience out of this. When Nina mentioned my name as the winner, I was in complete shock because I did think that my fellow contestants did have good answers. Thank you again, ladies, for being here. Give them a round of applause. Good luck, girls. Thank you. I thought Priya did really well. I think it was really nice for her to open up to everybody and talk about what she's been through. I'm going to ask the three challenge winners to step forward. Harindi, Priya Darshini, and Aditi. The three of you this week really encompassed the theme of the week. That was strengths and weaknesses. Harindi, in the first challenge, you really showed a side of yourself that no one had seen very early in the competition. You feel out of place, you feel like you're not good enough to be here. And that's not true, you know, that's not true, girls. You were personal and you showed a weakness, but I think that was also one of your strengths that came across and it resonated with all of us. Aditi, you took the direction well and really learned from it. Show us that you want this. Show us that you're not just going through the motions. And although it was not your strength, I think you really were able to take a weakness and grow from that experience. And so congratulations on that. Thank you. Priya Darshini, you were extremely articulate and well-spoken in the challenge today. I have seen some of the most gruesome aspects of her health and the best. So I was happy to be her support system. So this week, the overall winner is... Aditi. <laughs> For me, it's really not about winning. It's about 
overcoming challenges and overcoming obstacles and growing from that. Congratulations, Thank you. Aditi. There you go, winner of the week. It's so cute, it's so pink. It wouldn't match my top today, but it's okay, next week. Thank you, ladies, for being here this week. To be honest, it was a bittersweet feeling. I don't want to fake it, be like, oh, it was all honky-dory. Amazing job, everyone, but Aditi is dismissed. And Aditi, we have some one-on-one -on -one time in the VIP lounge. Yay. So I'll see you there. So congratulations again, Aditi. Thank How you. are you feeling? I feel good. I mean, I was really surprised when you called my name. I really didn't think I was going to be the first one to win. Why were you surprised? It was almost too good to be true, so. <laughs> I was really nervous the first challenge just because um, I'm not used to opening up so fast in front of people that I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, but then by the second challenge and the third one, I kind of got the hang of things and I felt like I could be more myself and let my strengths and weaknesses mm -hmm. shine through. We're putting you through you know, quite a bit of, of discovering yourself. So how's it been going with the girls um, and, and how are you feeling? Or if there's anything you wanna ask, now's the time to do it. Uh, well, I'm really glad to even be here and just be given this opportunity and be able to meet these five amazing women. And I feel like we've really gotten close over the past, I mean, We've only known each other a short time, but mm. it feels like I've known them a lot longer than that. This week's theme of strengths and weaknesses was really eye-opening, and I learned so much about these girls, and I learned a lot about myself, and I really did take away the fact that sometimes being vulnerable and being put in, being put on the spot and being put in an uncomfortable situation can end up having really great results, and this week really showed that. I really looked up to you, and I still do, ever since you won the Miss America pageant. And I just think the way you handle things and the way you carry yourself with the confidence, I just, I really aspire to be like that and have that come out naturally one day. Thank you. It's, it's unfortunate because, you know, I think we call it a beauty pageant and Certainly beauty is a component of that, and I think we all understand that, but the bigger component is really showing that compassionate side of you. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that's why I connected with you quite a bit this week. There are very few outlets for not only women, but South Asian women in particular, for them to be able to really have this kind of experience, a growth where there's someone mentoring them, they're learning, life lessons, essentially, which is something that I hope they take away from this. All right, well, Aditi, congratulations so once much. again. I am so looking forward to seeing you progress through this competition. Yeah. Um, you've done a fantastic job already, and I can't wait to see what's next. So thank you. <laughs> awesome job. This season on Made in America. <laughs> Let's get dressed. Get up there. I think I broke her arm. And action. Your fault. We're stuck in here. Push it through. You can do oh. it. You're strong. You know you're strong. Because of what we saw, there will be no winner of this challenge today. I think that was a very poor effort. Please don't tell me right now and lie on my face that you haven't been talking to others yeah. about the problems that you're having with us because I don't believe that. They didn't want to listen to me. They just wanted to complain and attack me. Don't, don't point your you finger at me and at like, I'm not us. your child. Don't talk to me like that. I spent every single second of our time focusing on that thing. I'm disappointed. I've competed in Miss America and no one has acted this way ever. That's amazing. You're very talented. Your time starts now. You have to eliminate every doubt about yourself. The minute you walk into that stage, you own every piece of who you are. There's so much I can learn from just being here.